This is our hot wire strip heater 600. Very common machine found in design technology departments. Um, this chart at the front is very useful. This is the thickness of the material. So, and this on the side here is the heat up time. So for a material that is half a millimeter thick or 0.5 of a millimeter, it will take about 20 seconds to heat up to a temperature where we can start thinking about deforming it. For a material that's a, a millimeter thick, 30 seconds, two millimeters, 60 seconds, three millimeters, 105 seconds, something that's as thick as five mil, 360. So we tend to use materials on this heat strip in the range of between 0.5 and three millimeters. Okay, and that's our preferred material on this machine. On the side here, uh, there are some measurements. This is in millimeters, that's in inches on this side. And this line starts from 50. So it's 50 millimeters from the wire. Just checking the machine is off. Uh, 50 millimeters from the wire. So you, that helps you with your marking out and so forth. So 60 millimeters to the wire, 70 millimeters to the wire. This is the wire at the back of the machine. Uh, if this gets very, very hot, it's exposed. So that's why we need to wear gloves when we're using this particular piece of equipment. Um, when it does get hot, it doesn't change color. So you cannot see if it's hot. Um, and so when the machine is not in use, folks, uh, this cover comes up, one, to protect you uh, from burning your fingers or, or, or clothing or anything that might get in the way. Uh, and the other reason is to protect that cable as well. Okay, so that's what that's for. Can be used also to form the plastic over. Um, you then have to turn the machine off while the plastic is cooling down in that shape. Uh, and that does take a long time. So here we go. I want to create a 90 degree uh, angle in my plastic. So I want to create a nice line here using my tri square. I'm going to use a board marker. Simple reason is if I make a mistake, I can go over to the sink, wash it off, and afterwards it's also easier to remove. Um, that's my preferred method. Um, I made a big mistake here. Um, I haven't removed the plastic protective covering, uh, so I need to remove that first. There you go. Now it's safe to go into the heat strip. Let's do that again. Voila, there you go. Nice and easy. Always mark it out and that line will be removed afterwards. I don't like removing that prot protective cover, but as soon as it goes onto the heat strip or into the vacuum former, I do need to remove it. So before I switch the machine on, I'm just going to set everything up, line it up to the line. So to make sure it's not twisted in any form, I'm going to put my tri square on the machine and make sure that's 90 degrees. If you're happy with that. So power on. So this is a millimeter thick and my chart says in about 20 seconds that will be ready to deform. So create my 90 degree angle I'm going to use a block and then afterwards I'll show you another one using the former at the back of the machine and gently you can just feel if it wants to go it's still very stiff at the moment starting to warm it doesn't take long there, can you see that and there's the memory in the material as well good it's good to go quickly get to a block press it up keep it nice and compressed let it cool in position seconds 30 seconds to allow it to cool and there you are you've got a nice 90 degree bend 
in your plastic. If we use our board marker to do some marking out, um, we can heat the plastic safely, but once we finish using the soft part of a sponge, we can simply remove it, uh, and voila. Yeah, so I put it back in the machine uh, just to demonstrate that a thermoplastic, in this case HIPS, high impact polystyrene, has memory. Uh, as the wire heats up the plastic, you'll see something change to the plastic. Just a few more seconds. there it is so thermoplastic or in this case hips has memory it's going back to its original shape The reason for using a board marker is because if we got our marking out on a, a use, if we do use our board, blah. I like board markers. And just to go through the instructions on the front of the machine, you can see that this is the thickness of the material, and this is how long it will take to get that material up to. Uh, a temperature where we can deform it or reshape it. So here we have a material that's half a millimeter thick and according to the machine it would take about 20 seconds to heat that up ready for uh, shaping. A millimeter, 30 seconds, two minutes, 